Herbert Beyer, the design consultant for the development of the Aspen Institute and the architect of many of the town's most notable buildings, was one of the most comprehensive artists of the 20th century. After fleeing Hitler's Germany in 1938, Beyer settled in New York to design major shows for the Museum of Modern Art. By 1946, all of his work in design was for two corporations, Walter Pepke's Container Corporation of America and Robert O. Anderson's Atlantic Richfield Corporation. It was because of Walter Pepke that Beyer left New York in 1946 to settle in Aspen. Steve Knowlton acknowledges Beyer's role here. Herbert and Joella Beyer were here the first winter, and they were a great influence on, on the development uh, of Aspen as, as a cultural center. Pepke brought Beyer here to serve as the design consultant for the development of the Aspen Institute for Humanistic Studies. Both men believed deeply in the need for a unity of the arts in an industrialized society. Beyer designed the seminar building for the Aspen Institute and the health center at the Institute in association with architect Fritz Benedict, a marble sculpture garden on the grounds of the Institute, the Walter Pepke Memorial Building, the renowned Aspen Music Festival concert tent, and many subsequent buildings homes and restaurants in town. In 1950, Beyer co-founded the International Design Conference of Aspen. Throughout his life, Herbert Beyer was honored for the scope and breadth of his work. His dynamic and artistic mark lives on in Aspen. <laughs>